everyone and welcome to Storytime. I'm Miss Carly. And me Silvana. And we're so glad you could join us for Storytime, where every week we love to share songs, tips, and activities about our weekly theme. This week we will be talking about sports. I can't wait, that's so fun. But before we get started, we've got to do our hello song. This is called Everybody Wave Hello and it's to the tune of Mary Had a Little Lamb. Will you guys join us at home? You ready? Yes. Let's do it. Everybody wave hello. Wave hello, wave hello, everybody wave hello, let's have some fun. Everybody clap hello, clap hello, clap hello, everybody clap hello, now our song is done. Good job. If you'd like to be included in our hello song, send a short 5 to 10 second video of your little one waving to library at buckeyeaz.gov. Let's learn a little bit more about sports. A sport is a physical activity that people do for fun and as a way to compete with each other. People have enjoyed sports for thousands of years and every sport has a different set of rules that the players have to follow. Now there are so many different kinds of sports and we're going to talk about just a few of them today and we brought some of our um, equipment, our sporting equipment that we would need to play those sports. So Miss Silvana and I are going to show you the different types of equipment and talk about the sport a little bit. Yeah, Miss Carly, one of my favorites is baseball. I have a jersey here. I like to watch the Yankees. To play baseball you need a glove, a ball, and a bat to play baseball. Very it's fun. lots of fun. Love that. All right, I have a football here, and football is my favorite sport to watch. I love watching the Cardinals play, and you use a football to play that sport, and the players have to wear big pads to protect each other. It's really fun. Yeah, all other sport that I like is soccer. You just need a soccer ball to play soccer. It's called football, and all over the world is the most popular sport in the world. Everybody loves to watch soccer or football. That's right. All right, another sport is tennis. And for tennis, you'll need a tennis racket like this and a tennis ball like this. And you have two players or four players and they hit the tennis ball back and forth across a net. It's a really good way to get exercise. Yeah, that's fun, Miss Carly. I like to go uh, watch hockey game. And with, when you go um, play hockey, you need a hockey stick and a puck like this one and they play in the ice. It's lots of fun. That's great. Can you show me about the golf ball also? Yeah, we have here um, a golf ball and that's to play golf. You use kind of like a stick too. It's called to a play, golf club. A golf club, mm -hmm. right. And you just try to move the ball in all different directions in the little hole and it's all green in the golf course and we have lots of them here in Arizona. That's right. They're very pretty. Yeah. All right, the last sport we're going to talk about is basketball. And you use a basketball like this to play. And basketball is my most favorite sport to play. I love it. And I played it in high school. It's so fun. You just can dribble the ball and then you shoot the ball through the hoop. It's a great hmm. team sport. You can play with five players on each team or just one on one. Miss Lavon, what's your favorite sport? Miss Carly. What? It's basketball. You like basketball too? Yeah, I used to play in high school also. Mm, interesting. Mm. Maybe we should play a little one-on-one -on -one and see who's better. Yeah, let's try that. All right, let's head on outside and play a little basketball. Football is one of the most popular sports in America. And we have a fun activity here with five little footballs. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five. Can you guys show me five? Good job. All right, it goes like this. Five little footballs trying hard to score. One made a touchdown. Hear the crowd roar. <laughs> All right, now how many footballs do we have left? One, two, three, four. Can you guys show me four? Good job. Four little footballs trying hard to score. One made a touchdown. 
hear the crowd roar. Woo! Now how many do we have left? One, two, three. Can you guys show me three? Good job. All right, here we go. Three little footballs trying hard to score. One made a touchdown. Hear the crowd roar. Woo! Now how many do we have left? One, two. Can you guys show me two? Two little footballs trying hard to score. One made a touchdown. Hear the crowd roar. Woo! Now how many footballs do we have left? Just one. One little football trying hard to score. It made a touchdown. Hear the crowd roar. Woo! Good job, all our footballs scored. Let's bring them back and count them together. All right, how many do we have? One, two, three, four, and five. Thank you guys for helping me count our footballs. And here's a quick tip. It might seem unrelated, but movement and muscle development are critical components of your child's early literacy development. It all begins with more gross motor development and in getting control over those large muscles groups that allow your child to crawl, walk, run, jump, and throw. Engaging the brain in completing movement tasks not only gets your child ready to read and write, but it can get your child's wiggles out too. Today we have a really fun song about a few of our favorite sports and it's called This Is The Way. So we're going to do a basketball like this, then we're going to kick a soccer ball like this, and then we're going to throw a football like this. Alright, will you guys join us at home? It goes like this. This is the way we bounce the ball, bounce the ball, bounce the ball. This is the way we bounce the ball when we play basketball. This is the way we kick the ball, kick the ball, kick the ball. This is the way we kick the ball when we play soccer. This is the way we throw the ball, throw the ball, throw the ball. This is the way we throw the ball when we play football. Hey, Miss Silvana, what do you say we try and use the balls here and sing it again? Mm, yeah. If you guys have balls at home, you can use those, mm -hmm. or if you can just pretend like we just did. Okay. All right, let's start with the basketball. All right, you guys ready? <clears throat> this is the way we bounce the ball, bounce the ball, bounce the ball. This is the way we bounce the ball when we play basketball. Good job. Ooh. All right, let's try the soccer ball. Ready? Here we go. This is the way we kick the ball, kick the ball, kick the ball. This is the way we kick the ball when we play soccer. Good job. All right, one more. Let's try our football. You ready? This is the way we throw the ball, throw the ball, throw the ball. This is the way we throw the ball when we play football. Good job. That was so fun. Today for our home activity, we're going to show you how to make your own mini ice hockey rink with real ice. All you'll need is a cookie sheet, um, some spoons, and then a water bottle cap and some blocks. Alright, so the way you make it is you'll fill your cookie sheet with water and then make some goals out of blocks. You can make them however you like. You can use Legos, Duplos, Mega Blocks, anything you have will work great. We use Mega Blocks here and put one on each side and put them in the water and then stick the whole thing in the freezer so that the goals will freeze in there and make sure that they stay. Then, once you know, wait a few hours, once it's all frozen, then you're ready to play ice hockey. Yes. And so you'll put the puck in the center there and you'll use your spoons as the hockey sticks and then you can play with your mom or dad or brother or sister or friend and then you can just go back and forth and slide that puck across the ice and try and score Ooh. into the goal. Awesome, Charlie. Fun! Yay. Yay! Good job! So have fun and create your own ice hockey game. Check out these books featuring our theme for this week. Available at your library. Visit our website for more information at buckeyeaz.gov library.
Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you guys had so much fun learning all about sports. And have fun playing the ice hockey game we showed you today. Yes, that'll be so fun. Make sure you guys join us next week to see what we'll be learning about then. But before we go, we've got to do our closing song, Skin -a Rink. Will you guys join us? You ready? Yes. Let's do it. Skin -a Rinky dinky dink, Skin -a Rinky do. I love you. Skin -a Rinky dinky dink, Skin -a Rinky do. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. Now it's time to go home, but I'll see you soon. Oh, skin a marinky dinky dink, skin a marinky do. I love you. Bye, Bye guys. guys, we'll see you next time.